Hey. New trailer reaction for the new X-Men trailer. As usual, we don't use, uh, sorry. We don't own the audio. That is if you can hear it. If you can't, turn your earphones up. I mean, your stereo up, speakers up, whatever. Use headphones if you have to. Say hi. Hi, sorry, is that my voice? I don't know, somehow I'm not sure it's an audio problem. I sound different on webcam. I sound annoying. I can barely hear myself. Are you sure that's not just how you normally are? Anyway. New trailer reaction. Or, new trailer. For new X-Men. Here we go. Oh, it's been abandoned. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait, boss. What? What's this music used for? It's just Cashmere by Led Zeppelin. Ah, oh, okay. And it was used in the John Carter show. <laughs> and X-Men 3! <laughs> the prison! You can't get caught. Destroy this shit. No, it's not watch. What? Watch what he does with it. Oh, I've seen this already, by the way. He hasn't. It's awesome. I think he's gonna call it everywhere he's seen. <laughs> oh, shit. I know. <laughs> Well, at least, at least you get killed after the two thousands. Wolverine is a dick to beast. Anyway, that whole shot, when you see the trailer, you know what I'm talking about. That whole shot with my needle lifting the stadium. I know I'm going to get shit for saying this, but it reminds me of X3. When the president says, how can, something like, how can democracy survive? Oh, I don't know how democracy can survive when a man can move cities with his mind. And then he is moving a fucking football stadium. I should, I just really hope. Did you see a plane in the truck? That's probably him. But I want my guys to throw like fucking dozens and like three dozens of planes. No, that's animals. Air Force One. Air Force One. He brings Air Force One. He probably brings Air Force One down. That's why you see all those humans huddled together in like a wreckage towards the end of. I guess, I guess it would be the end of the film. And he's standing above them, and whatever. Yeah, th this could be awesome. And but I swear, to God, I think, I think eventually. Uh, I think Magneto wins in all this. I think that's. I think. I think that's what's going to introduce X Men Apocalypse. You say Magneto rules the Earth in nineteen seventy. If I remember correctly, in the X Men Apocalypse storyline, Charles Xavier is not there anymore. So what, you say he might. The young one might die in this one. Or I don't, no, I doubt it. I doubt it. Because um, Brian Singer has said he's coming back. James McAvoy is coming back. I, I mean, and I was worried. Because I remember when uh, Singer said, oh, my Apocalypse is going to be, the film is going to be sort of like a, I guess he said like a disaster film. There's going to be a disaster film, like elements in it, you know, cities being destroyed and whatnot. And I was thinking, well, we've never seen him do that before. 
Well, but that one got... shot with Magneto was just enough to convince me that he might do a good job with it. What well, then again, fine. I know I hate the phrase, but fine series did kind of do disaster with Superman Returns, even though it was kind of cut off, you know, with the... Well, with the plane. Not with the plane, also with the, uh, you know, with the continents. Remember when the travels gave No, fun? like, buildings and shit being flying across I know. the city and shit. That's why I, I know, I know, with Emmerich's time. Yeah, well... Roland Emmerich has a, what, what, what would you call it, monopoly on disaster films, so. Yeah. yeah Whether he's good at it or not is irrelevant. <laughs> he, he's the one you go to when you want shit blown up in a way no. that will earn you money. Yeah, yeah. Michael Bay has exposures. Roland Emmerich has buildings coming down. If it's with Michael Bay, is, he mostly does it in Transformers. Well, I think he did some things. Well, he did some shit in all his other movies, but the biggest he ever gets is with Transformers. Yeah, especially with the third one where they blew up Cybertron. Spoiler. Since some of you are all fucking spoiler-phobic about that shit. Hey, everybody wants to say Transformers 3 by now? No, 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 I'm just saying, for all the assholes who are going to say, Ah, you ruined 3 for me. The three, the third one was already ruined because they have Michael Bay on it. That's what every fan says. As long as Michael Bay is connected to that precious childhood, it must be ruined. Okay, can I just say something real quick? Anyone who says that their childhood has been raped, violated, or molested, or any other fucking sort of thing like that, you are a fucking idiot. Your childhood is not an actual thing. It cannot be... Gah. But then again, you could... What? 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 No, no, no. Just you... Fuck, seriously, I'm, I'm not saying you should like everything they make, but for fuck's sake, you don't... What? But, but, but you guys, but sometimes, your fans, you guys are getting lucky. You guys can nitpick, but the truth is you're getting lucky, because for all you know, there might not have been any Transformers movies without Michael Bay. Well, I don't know about that. They've been trying to make that for years, so... Really? I, I'm sure. That, I'm, I'm sure, sure there's at least talked about... Okay, well, I'm just saying, I mean, look at fucking uh, Dragon Ball. I got the rights to 2002, got the rights to 2005, screwed up in 2000. Nine. <laughs> well, I think it's the thing is that's not how it would work. So the thing is either whoa, 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 that's not how they work. It's not as if they all sit down in a big ass boardroom or in a, or a big ass stadium saying, "Hmm, what franchise can we fuck up today?" No, that's not how it works. I know that's how. I know that's how you all think it works, but that's no. not how it works. Wait, wait, this is how it works. They you want want how it Wait, this is, how, this is where I got from executives and critics. They want a promised fan base. But however, if they think that the material. Is has some weak points in it. They will try to change it, which is why that's sometimes not, it's a mostly based adaptation. That's not how it works. The, the whole basis. Of the it, reason why the whole basis of it is money. Yes, exactly. But they do adaptations with promised fan base. That's the reason but, why you no, see. But that games. That's the reason why you see Transformers. I'm fucking telling you that doesn't count because. The fan base only counts for a small percentage of everything. They don't. Yes, don't give me that fucking look. Even. Even John says this on AMC. Yes, the fan base might make money for the franchise or whatever, but they are small in comparison to the general population. Yes, yes, but however, and that's the how they're trying to hit. Bam. But yes, but sometimes they do it in the point where they adapt it and change certain things. They make it unbearable for the audiences they're trying to go. No, for that's sometimes. And make it. That's it, yeah, that's sometimes. But I'm telling you, that's always been the basis for it to hit the audience that they cannot get. Yes, but however, was said like Twilight. Most people watch Twilight. That was the fan base, not the regular going audience. The regular only going audience only watched it to see how terrible it was. Not well, how they good. still contributed to it anyway, and they were the ones who got all the money. It wasn't the fans on that one. Hunger Games is not just for the fans; it's for everyone. Yes, it maybe for everyone because I know the second one, no, 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 the first one, yeah, because that, that was for our audience. No, that was for everyone. These movies are made for. Everyone. That's the po okay. Look, anyone who says they're making it for the fans is a fucking liar. No, no, no. But it's the fan base. But Brandon, but Brandon, but so no. But the reason why they get into it in the first place is because they have a, they have a promise family. It's like the reason why they do. We gotta cut out. this short because I don't know. But I'm just saying when they do comic book movies, that's because and it ain't like the fucking source material. There's nothing in Avengers that is like the first fucking issue that came out, except for the fact that they went up against Loki. Other than that, no. Captain America was not in the first fucking issue of the Avengers. He didn't come until later on with the Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver. Hawkeye wasn't even in the fucking Avengers at that time yet. Yeah. And he's in that movie. But forget, Neither was Black Widow. But the fans can't accept Comic Con has always written, always changed. They don't accept it because they keep bitching about the changes that are made in films. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's the reason why book to film adaptations are always nitpick, especially next to shit like this. To X-Men. Especially X-Men. Because 
got like a five by ten minutes, even though the YouTube limit is fifteen minutes. But didn't we change that? I don't know, but all I know is <laughs> we're supposed to be fucking doing an X Men trailer reaction. We end up doing a fucking rant. I do a review. No, five 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 perspective on film adaptations. Like rant. This. By a rant on film adaptations, including this son of a bitch that's gonna make box office gold. Well, I don't know about that. It'll make money, but I don't know about it being box office gold. Anyway, <laughs> trailer looks good. Hopefully, the movie's just as good. I don't the trailer know. is fucking awesome. I don't know, but hopefully, it's good. I liked it. I fucking liked it. Yeah. And yeah, hopefully, you like it too. If you like this video. Like, like, subscribe. Well, and you don't have to subscribe, but if you like wait, what we do, yeah, subscribe. just mm -hmm. expect, like, sporadic updates, because we don't Good. update when we, you know, on a regular basis, just we, whenever we fucking We don't, feel we don't like do it. weekly stuff, we do monthly, really. We do, or, yeah, I guess monthly. Whenever we feel like it. Yeah. And if you don't like this, why are you here? What, what, what? Just please leave, and please don't hate us, please. That's, that's, but, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Like, subscribe, whatever. Come Bye. Bye.